Okay, I think that should work. Uh, yeah, okay, okay. Is it working? Ah, uh, turn the screen around. Okay. See myself. Mm. Ah, okay. Ah, uh. uh, I was not prepared for this. I should have been more prepared. <clears throat> I'm sure you guys will cut this all out. <clears throat> ah. Hello, everyone. It's Sam Russell here, human survivor of an unknown war. As you might have seen the Russell Chronicles, as they're referred to now. The War of the Worlds uh, Museum has uh, requested that I record this video. Um, just because here we are, we just celebrated the 10th anniversary of the war not too long ago. And they just want me to record and tell you know, my thoughts, where I'm at, and that sort of thing. I mean, there's been a lot of um, video chronicles that have been found and surfaced throughout the world. I mean, we live in a digital age where everyone can have a camera, so there's a lot of people's stories. The Russell Chronicles are just uh, one of a handful of uh, recorded stories from people who are just sort of trying to survive. They keep digging them up and putting them in museums. But I know I've had a few people talk to me like, you're Sam Russell of the Russell Chronicles. I'm like, yeah. Not something I'm particularly like, ooh, I'm super proud of, but because it was just me trying to survive and everyone I seemed to meet and knew died. So that's troubling. Um, and, you know, watching people like Chris or Cade die and then Cade having to... Um, shoot the uh, avatar that looked like him and kill him. I still sometimes had nightmares about that afterwards. But, uh, talking about what I've done, I mean, well, went back, did the reconstruction like I said I would. Um, helped rebuild the town. We're still really rebuilding. I, I think it's funny, all those sci-fi movies always show, like, civilization, like, is completely back to normal and rebuilt in a few years, or even months after a big attack. It's like, no, here we are ten years later. We're still repairing the damage. Um, but, I mean, I've moved into a new, nice new place. Uh, I still help out. Uh, I've actually started doing a lot of journalism. Going out and talking to people about the war. I've done a lot of uh, jobs for the museum and for some of the historical archives of this war. Um, I've always been very willing to do that as someone who did that during the war. Um, but it's it's kind of crazy thinking it's been 10 years since we fought that war. A year-long war. I mean, I'm still not a big fan of just using the, name, the War of the Worlds for it. But I guess that's what seemed to be most fitting. Uh, some people considered calling it the War of 2011, but I mean, technically it went from 2011 to 2012, so it doesn't quite work. But um, they have seem to have settled on War of the Worlds. Um, there wasn't really much fighting after war ended, they pretty much all pulled out. There were a few stragglers left behind that were quickly dealt with. And then we just started rebuilding. A lot of nations went right back to distrusting each other. It's amazing how fast humanity goes right back to normal, in a way. And it's kind of, it's kind of disturbing, to be honest. Um, but, you know, to help me with the reconstruction, one on my search um, of the Missouri Citizens Resistance, I never found any of them. So, whether or not they survived or died, I, I do not know. It's very sad. Uh, Daniel Thornton, I'm looking for him as well. And what I found was... Uh, sorry, this is going to ruin the audio. I'm going to start recording and hit him. Please. 
Um, I'm a little worried right now. Uh, me, just the camera here. Preparing, and I don't think it's enough. <laughs> well, at 
least right now it's appearing that would be enough. I mean, everything's working out exactly pretty much how I figured it would. You didn't catch me quite so off guard like last time. <laughs> being here again. Maybe this footage will be seen again. Maybe it won't. This was Chronicles Part 2. I don't know. It's War of Tomorrow. <laughs> Whatever they want to call this one. Oh boy. Um, and there it comes. The Pulse. Alright, we're going to pull over. That way our car doesn't go crashing when we lose power. And here it is! <sighs> hey. Um... Tim Russell here again. Um, I've made it in the woods. Vehicle's dead. Uh, the pole snacked it out. I had to abandon it. I wasn't going to just sit there. That would have been like being a sitting duck. And over again. We're back. However, this time, this time I'm prepared. So, uh, so I've been reading up a lot with the. U.S. Army Survival Manual. So, I know a lot of things. I've been reading this a lot. I brought it with me. This is a refresher in case I need it. But I mean, I got things like. This is really cool. Just here. Wait a second. <laughs> yeah. Got a shovel. Got a shovel too. It also works. That. This serves as a pickaxe. So, nice little tool. And the best part about it is. Quality too. Uh, Shetty. It's a hatchet. Like I said, I've been preparing for this for a while. Of course, a knife. A fence. Other things, flashlights, lights, uh, crowbar, a bunch of my car supplies that I left behind because there's no point in having a car. Um, this guy cool. I never want it. This little cup for drinking. Cool little, little thing I found. Store thing. Compass, more med supplies, not a compass with a whistle. Um, I just bought a bunch of those little survival, those camping, hunting, survival pack things. The emergency sleeping blanket in here. And yeah. So, matches, lighter, all kinds of stuff. Sharpening tool for the machete in the air. Uh, Catch it and stuff, so yeah. Um, yeah. Of course, like I said, I 
have been preparing. Got this plus three other spare clips. It's not a lot of bullets, but at least something. Nice little leg. This right here. like holster here for it. Uh, plus I got all my camera equipment in here. Plus some food rations. Uh, yeah. This time I'm ready. I am ready for what this war has to bring. I don't know how long this is going to last. I don't know if this is just a quick skirmish or what this is, but I'm not gonna be caught off guard this time. Um, yeah, do I have much else to say than that? This is the beginning, I guess. But, um, I better start gearing myself up here. I feel a lot better than I did last time. We'll say that. I feel a lot better. Last time I was literally just ran. Didn't have any supplies, nothing. Just ran. Now I have all the tools in my hand. So I have all the tools. Well, I better start making a base camp. Let you guys know. I'll probably walk a little bit further deep into these woods. Uh, not exactly secure here. It's just it's quiet out of the way. No one can see me from any of the. I walked down one of the trails here and then walked out to here because I didn't want anyone else seeing me because last thing I need is someone like Cade showing up and wanting all this stuff because I'm gonna say I'm well enough equipped that people might want it. You know, machete, knife, gun. Well, we prepare for that sort of thing, but uh, yeah, I'll make a base camp. Um, I'll record again when I get a chance. And uh, don't know how the audio is going to sound. I don't exactly have an audio recorder for this thing. At least not it's set up anymore. Um, so it's just going to be recording with the camera. And uh, yeah, so I think uh, I think that's it. So to meet again my friends this is Sam Russell human survivor of an own war only this time I'm prepared signing out